Hi everybody, I'm Mohammed and I'm here with you again to talk about MATLAB and fluid mechanics. Um, in this video, which is a kind of sequel for my previous video on potential flows, I'm gonna talk about the superposition of flow and about the more complicated potential flows and then I will teach you some MATLAB tricks to visualize them in a better way. So if you find this video helpful, please do not forget to share and subscribe. And as I mentioned before, I would be very happy to receive your comments and feedbacks because they can help me to improve the quality of my videos. Um, by the way, if you are not familiar with the topic I and mean with the potential flows, I highly encourage you to pause this video and take a look at my previous video in which I talk extensively about the potential flows, the basic ones, and uh, I talk about their functionality and the way that we can visualize them with MATLAB. Uh, I just uh, put the link in the caption if you want to. Uh, by the way, going to the, this video, uh, if you remember this equation from my previous video, you would immediately realize that it is the equation for velocity potential function for any rotational flow. Uh, but uh, this must remind you of the Lapla Laplace transform. Actually, uh, the qualities of Laplace transform is the whole idea which is uh, behind the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, if you remember from the Laplace, uh, when we want to find the solutions for a complicated equation, uh, we just need to find out uh, where that equation, that complicated equation is come from. I mean, if we find some basic equations uh, whose, ad, uh, what, whose summation can result in that complicated equation, uh, we have the answer. I mean, we just need to find out the solutions for the basic equations and add them together to get the solution for the complicated equation. Uh, and it is the exact same thing that I'm gonna do in this video. I mean, as you remember uh, in previous video, I defined some basic potential flows and we achieved their solutions. And now here we combine that uh, basic potential flows to get a uh, more complicated ones. And then by adding their solution, we would simply have the solution for the complicated flows. The first equation, the first uh, flow field that we will take a look at is called uh, Rankine half body, which is a, which is an oval which is extended to the infinity, and its flow field is uh, depicted in the picture. As you see, by combining the source and uniform flow, you got this picture, and all the blue lines are the streamlines for the equation. I mean, the flow around the uh, Rankine half body are the blue lines, and the line in red which is passes through the stagnation point here is called the stagnation streamline or the stagnation psi. Uh, its value is equal to half of the source S strength. Uh, okay, another uh, complicated flow field uh, which can be analyzed easily by defining some basic potential flows is called uh, Rankine Oval. And it is a combination of the uniform flow and a source and sink, or better to say, a doublet. And as you see, the stagnation points are here and here, and the um, stagnation streamline or the stagnation psi is equal to zero. Okay, now we go to the MATLAB to show you how we can uh, visualize them. This is the code that I talked about it uh, deeply in my previous video, so this time I will just focus on this part which is about the half body. As I mentioned before, we simply need to define the psi for the uniform flow and the psi for the source. And the strength of the source is going to be received from the user to an input uh, to an input function. And then by just adding them together, I mean the psi for uniform and the psi for source is going to be added to get a total psi, which is the psi for the Rankine half body. And we plot the contours using this uh, command and I want only 40 contour lines I think it's gonna be enough but I'm not uh, showing sure this I would not uh, plot this command in my first run now let's run, run the code and uh, okay half body with an strength of say one uh, it's gonna take a little bit Okay, there we go. Um, this is the thing that I talk about. If you see, this is the ranking half body, but it's not clear in the picture. So, a simple trick to clear things in a better way is to define, to highlight the uh, 
the side for the valves of the ranking half body and we use this command in order to do that I mean first I define a vector whose value is equal to the uh, stagnation side and this um, negative sign um, this negative sign minus sign uh, gonna be I will explain it later but first let me show you how I managed how I can um, highlight the this one specific control line using these two commands together uh, see by running code again and for example strength of two here it is it is our half body but in um, the reason for using this minus sign is that if we take a look at the three dimensional form of our equation using surf if you realize what happens and why we should use that negative sign okay see um, this three-dimensional uh, surface is totally symmetrical but it, ha it is not continuous at But it's not continuous in some points so but this line and this line are equal to the half of the source estuary and this line because it goes to the negative uh, plane I added that minus sign by the way now let's take a look at ranking over Again, I define the psi for uniform flow and the psi for doublet and define and get the distance between them and their strength from the user and then use the control line. If you use a huge amount of control line, I mean something like a thousand, you will get a very smooth picture. And again, I define the, a vector whose value is equal to the stagnation psi and pull out the contour and ask MATLAB to highlight that one specific contour V for me by running the code again we'll get this picture distances for example 0.5 and here it is this is our ranking oval and the interesting thing about it is that when we add some specific value this ranking oval will turn into a cylinder so by this this code we simultaneously can and uh, we would have uh, the fill of it around the cylinder as well so uh, this is the end of the video i hope you enjoy please do not forget to share and subscribe as, uh, if you find this video helpful thank you all